Okay, so we've got our pressure gauge, we got the your water tank, and then you have a burst disc here and a grease spot right here, which is the small knob on top, not the big one, the small knob, one full turn. They say every roughly every uh, six hours of use. And uh, the grease that's in there, let's get a you unscrew it by the thick part and you can see what's in there and it, it, that'll probably last the life of the machine anyways for me I'm not filling tanks I'm just filling guns with it and then let's see let me back this up a little bit There's also, when you have this fill here, you have a, a burst disc right here on the side also. And uh, on the front, front part here, again, you're on, you're off, you're on 110 if that's what you're using, or 220. And, and right, right here is where you relieve the pressure out of your line. To, to remove the gun and uh, you want to have this on AC all the way over there when, you, when you're running it on house current. If you're running it on uh, off a vehicle battery, you've got your jumpers, you know, hot and ground. And this plug right here, a two prong thing, that, that plugs in right down here, right there, if you want to. If you were going to run it that way, so you can go on DC, plug it in there, hook it to your battery, and you can charge your gun from your vehicle as long as the engine is running in the vehicle. And let's see, we've got our fill whip line, whatever you want to call it. I'll just, I'll just keep that in there, keep it clean, and. And it also comes with these tools here. So, you, so if you need to do some repairs, you can take it apart. It's got a piston opening and a couple of the little ones in here and some Allen wrenches, which is good to have. So you, will, you, can, you can take the cover off and take it apart with that and check it out every once in a while, make sure everything looks good. Okay, the pressure gauge on this one is uh, different than the, the regular cheaper uh, air compressors. And this this uh, chrome piece here, you push down, it, it has this little pointer. This is actually a mover to move the needle. You push it down and you can adjust, you let it up and go past. If you need it to come up, you turn it. See how it moves the pointer, and that's how that that's how you adjust your uh, pressure. Okay, now we're gonna fill this up with water, and <clears throat> what you want to do is fill it up to right to where you see that hole on the side there. That's that's where the uh, return flow is for the water. It goes through a little radiator in the machine and it'll, it spits out there. Now, I had already filled this up to there once and turned it on, and now the level has dropped, so I'm going to add some more. So you do have to fill it twice. And you're going to fill it up until you get right to... right there, right to where that hole is. So what I'll do now is I'll turn the machine on so you can you can see, you do this twice, it's just, uh, I, I did it once and I didn't have the camera on the first time I put, put it in. So I plug in the uh, machine, I make sure my button's on AC, and you see the water flowing right through there. And you want to let it flow through the air for a little bit and then 
turn the AC button off and we can see it's full right to that line there right where we want it so we're all set but the first time you do it you look in there it'll be dropped just like when we looked in there and then the second time you fill it all the way up and that's all there is to it very easy okay so uh, we got we got our, uh, our gauge set to uh, 200 bar and we've got our, our water filled up correctly all the way up and what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up the gun so we take a, a little whip line whatever you want to call it and connect that up right here it's right on that plastic fitting a little snug the first time you do it and we have a, a test plug in the line take that out and uh, we'll, we'll hook that right here to the uh, foster, foster fitting on a little Diana bandit. And it's uh, in, the gun's empty right now. It's right down to the yellow. So now that we have that hooked up, and make sure that your bleed valve here is turned to the left and that it's not not uh, clogged wires and turned in. Make sure you're on 110 if that's what you're using, like I am. And this button here, we're going to make sure that that's on AC. Right now it's on off. So now I'm going to take my uh, plug, hook that up, and I'm going to move this switch to AC. And after I do that, I'm going to press start. So I move that to the screen. I press the start button. And then I move it to the right. take it outside and do a little planking. So that's going to be it for this one guys. Appreciate you watching. I hope this helped you.